What's up guys, my name is Spencer, I'm here with my boy Brian, and today we're gonna trim this glorious, glorious beard. All right, so our brother Brian here has a, a whole lot of beard. This guy's growing hair literally out of his, his eyeballs here, and it's been uh, about six months since he's trimmed it at all. And really for the purpose of today's trim, what we're gonna do is just clean him up a little bit. We're gonna bring his cheek line down as you see his hair grows pretty high here. Take a little bit of weight out of the sides here to shape it. And uh, for all of our brothers out there that grow, you know, six months, year long, two year long beards, what's natural is as your beard grows in length, you're gonna get some thinness here. So really what we're gonna do is just take some of the length out of the, the beard here up to where the bulk of the beard is, uh, really to shape a little bit better. This is gonna make his beard appear uh, even thicker than it already does. And I uh, really just clean him up a little bit. So you ready for it, man? Absolutely. All right. Before any beard trimming starts, I always advise to apply any products that you would normally use on a daily basis. So uh, Brian uh, showered, washed his beard. He actually used a blow dryer. He hasn't applied any products yet. So before we actually start trimming, we're gonna go ahead and apply beard butter as he does on a daily basis. And here's why. Some of these, these hairs that are kind of sticking out in these flyaways, once you apply your product, that'll essentially kind of tame those a little bit more. And if I were to trim these now, I may end up taking some hairs off that you wouldn't need to otherwise. So I always recommend putting your products in before you actually go in a trim and let your beard fully dry. That way you can really see what hairs need to come off. All right, so we just applied a little bit of the Legend Beard Butter and uh, now it's time to trim. So we're gonna start first on the sides. Again, take just a little bit of the weight out of uh, the sides here. There's just some of these flyaways that get a little unruly. This will essentially tighten this up here, kind of give him a little bit more uniform shape to his beard. And uh, yeah, let's get after it. So you wanna treat the beard really like a hedge. You wanna kind of work your way on the outsides and kind of run the trimmers down the side of the beard and really just take any of these kind of hairs that are sticking out a little bit. You're leaving the bulk of the beard. You're not taking any le real length off here, just tightening it up a little bit. Now with his beard at this length, we're not gonna give him super hard and defined lines. Obviously there's a million different ways we can style this. Typically we want this line to kind of come naturally here. Um, his beard is so big and, and, and really, it's got a great natural growth to it. We're just gonna clean up just a little bit off the back of the sideburn, some of these hairs that kind of grow back towards the neck. All right, obviously want to kind of match it up on the left side here. Same thing, just kind of working from the outside in, treating it like a hedge. And really just get any of these flyaways that are sticking out.
All right, now, when it comes to the length of, of his beard here, you can see he's got some serious length, um, but as he's growing it longer, it's super natural to have it thin out towards the bottom. And what this does is, when you're looking at it, you almost lose these kind of wispy ones, the thinnest. So what we're gonna do here is essentially take some length off to where the bulk of his beard is. Um, we're gonna take a few inches, probably about, on these longest ones, three to four inches, but what that's gonna do is really bring his whole beard in together to where it's gonna look so much healthier, so much fuller, and then with the regrowth, as it continues to grow from here, it'll allow some of these others, other hairs to catch up. So again, just gonna take it, take it the length off to where the bulk of the beard is, somewhere in that range there. Let's see where we're at here. All right, now we're gonna clean up his cheek lines. The idea here is to keep this line as high as naturally possible. Um, Brian grows hair extremely high. So what we're really gonna do is just pull some of these down, um, give it a little bit more of a shaped look. We're gonna connect kind of from the sideburn to the mustache and essentially just drop these down a little bit. I definitely don't want to take these too low, so I'm going to kind of start and just slowly work my way down, kind of assess it, see what it's looking like. When you're trimming your cheek, cheek lines here, you really just want to get them close. Don't beat yourself up and go back and forth too many times or this line is going to keep creeping too low. So looking pretty even there. Um, it's important to note, guys, if you're going to get your beard trimmed, uh, if you're going to visit a barber, uh, be very, very specific with what look you're going for, what style you're going for. Um, take pictures, right? Show this video to them if you're looking for this look here. We took these lines here, kept them you know, a little bit more of a natural line here, connected here. We, we squared this off. Um, if you want your corners boxed, you see we took the sideburn line, kind of straight off the back of the sideburn, boxed this more. 
be very specific with which style you want. Um, it's very difficult to find a barber. You know, if you sit in a chair, it's impossible for him to read your mind and know what style, what length you're going for. So take a picture, show a video, be very, very specific um, so they can do their job and you can get a trim that you're, you're happy with. I think this is looking pretty good. Again, we didn't take too much length off because we didn't, you know, wanted to keep it here, just bring it back to the body to, look, to where it's a little bit fuller. Took weight out of the sides, took the cheeks down a little bit, really just tightened it up overall. And so again, if you're going for a box look, you're running the base of this line off the back of the sideburn, uh, running it straight down here, and then cutting your angle here off your corners. All right guys, so if you're looking to get your beard trim, you're looking to find a barber uh, to shape your beard up, here's my advice. Do your research, make sure they know what they're doing with beards, um, and really, when you find somebody, don't be afraid to speak up and be very specific with what you want. They're not gonna read your mind. So take a picture in, take a video in, explain exactly what style you want, boxed, rounded, what length, be very, very specific. Um, again, because the last thing you want to do is go sit in a chair, have a bad experience, get your beard hacked off, and you know they don't want that either. It's bad for their business as well. So if there's anything we can do to help you, don't hesitate to reach out. You can get us anytime at support at livebearded.com. So let us know how we can help you. And as always, live bearded. Woo!